<laughs> also, let's talk about Twitter stock. That's trading to the downside after the social media giant posted an earnings miss this morning, which was impacted by the pending deal with Elon Musk and the current macro environment. A ton to break down here with regard to Twitter. First, just want to start with the monetizable daily active users because that has been such a topic of conversation. That's come in at 237.8 million users. That was actually up 16 percent. But I think at the end of the day for the company in going forward from here, they've pulled the, pulled the guidance because of the deal with Musk. And we'll, we'll see what more they have to say in the future around that. I mean, deal. are they monetizable? <laughs> are they? Yeah. Musk would ask. Right? Yes. I mean, like, look at those numbers right. that we're seeing from the company. They're, if you're seeing user growth, mm -hmm. but nothing else is growing. I mean, this is true of Snap, too. Snap is growing users, but it's not growing the numbers like it should be. This is the same situation with Twitter, right? And and it looks like, even as it's growing the users, by the way, that international number is the one that missed estimates. U.S. actually came in a little bit ahead of estimates. But monetization, like, forget about the bots for a minute. Let's assume mm -hmm. that Elon Musk is not buying this company, right? Let's assume they're getting their billion-dollar payout, and investors now have to decide on the baseline of this company and its fundamentals, is it worth buying? How are they going to monetize those users in a higher, in a more profitable way going forward? That's the, that's the question. Well, they have to get some, I would say, real leadership into the company because this is essentially now a, a rudderless ship and very simple way to pick this out. So in, the, in this quarter here, Twitter is telling you their sales dropped 1% year over year. Their costs and expenses were up 31% year yeah. over year. That is complete to me as a former analyst, mismanagement how on much a grand of, scale. How much of that is legal? Legal, they are noting, costs related to the pending acquisition of Twitter were approximately $33 million. So even back that out, mm. a 31% increase when, you're, when your sales are, are completely starting to now fall off a map, I mean, that's just executives not having the foresight to get out in front of this revenue slowdown. Right. We're talking $33 million out of a $1.52 billion total costs and expenses. So, yeah, $33 million. You can't million. blame that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, severance related costs, they were saying were approximately $19 million during the quarter. But again, I mean, it really does come back to how many of these users are actually monetizable. What further investments would they need to make in terms of the platform itself to monetize those users even further? And would the advertisers even come at a time where we know that, as we were discussing with Snap, the spending is pulling back for some of those marketing dollars? Well, well if Elon was trying to get this into core to, to get a lower price, all he has to do is take this sheet. I mean, he, he should be trying to get a lower price. Yes, it's a little confused. I don't know what the ultimate outcome yeah, of yeah, this is going to be. Right. Obviously, none of us do. Elon Musk doesn't know, certainly. Um, but, you know, it does seem like if he was to buy it, have to buy it at that price, it seems like he would be paying. we got to camp out outside the uh, Chancery Court. Yeah. Yes.